This is Conrad Anker from Bozeman, Montana, here in Oslo with Hans at Nor Er de Alvord. So we choose to go out and shiver away on the mountain with exposure. We choose to run a 30 kilometer run in the rain and things like that, but there's no one saying you have to go do that. But when you understand pain and suffering, you have understanding and empathy for people that are in that situation, not by their own choosing, but by circumstances. We're basically carbon. This planet's 4.5 billion years old, and we keep getting recycled. So we're fortunate to have be in this life form now, but an afterlife or a heaven doesn't exist for me. You miss an intersection, you almost die, or you're at an avalanche, and you see your life flash before your eyes. And, and so it's like, ah, I'm not gonna let go, and I've got it. And then you, then you step away and you're like, stronger and it's like some movie narrative but this time he came in or she came in the recycler the non-entity and said it's time to move your carbon back into the earth but I said no I pushed my body beyond what it was should have done through mental strength I guess People, they often ask, do you know when you're going to have a heart attack? And I said, if you have one, you will know. If you have one, you will know. Where we are outside, we, we take that moment to take away the human construct. While we're here and walking around in Oslo, we see cement, steel, glass, plastic. It's a circular, rectilinear world. Everything is designed by humans. But when we go outdoors and we walk in the pine forests of northern Norway or ski in the birch forests or climb on a waterfall, nature is infinitely variable. There is no same thing again. Every tree is unique, and that way for us to connect outdoors is a healthy way to kind of release the stress of an oversubscribed society, in that we now have our handheld computers and the amount of information that comes into us and everything like that. So when we go outside and it's like running on a trail rather than asphalt against other humans, you want to experience nature and you come back with a sense of rejuvenation. Rejuvenation. So in a sense, we have this collective ball of knowledge that each generation holds on to. And we wouldn't be here today in society, moving society forward if we would not pass that ball of knowledge on. To take who we are and what we can do and leverage that and pass that knowledge on to the next generation is is the way forward for a more peaceful, connected planet. A more peaceful, connected planet. If you have one, you will know. So the motivation for climbing is intrinsic. Certainly the, the extrinsic reward of public recognition feeds the ego, and we get that um, to, to say we're all very much our description of who we are and how other people see us is, is a prism that changes how we act with others. If you have one, you will know. When you look at a picture of Saratori, it is a singular, it's like a pencil coming out of the ice cap and it's just incredibly steep. There's few peaks that have that thousand meter vertical that are that slender. If you 
practice alpine climbing, you climb granite. If that's your passion, you have to go to feed that passion and find the most intense mountains. I'm a polytheistic, so I will look at all the world's religions, which are all founded on a way to answer the cosmos and to create a social contract, which is basically do good to others. Climbing is in in intrinsic. And for you and I, I mean, we were born as white males. We have an incredible amount of privilege. And when you ignore that, and you don't realize that the system favors us, and previous generations had structured the system to favor us, when there was a little bit of a disconnect. Having empathy and understanding for people that don't have as much as we have, and then try to give away what we have, and to 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 give our voice and power to them is significant. house, the rain doesn't come in, the heater works, the coffee machine works, you know, what more could we want? But that value comes from having chosen hardship and suffering by our own volition. When you understand pain and suffering, you have understanding and empathy for people that are in that situation, not by their own choosing, but by circumstances. Perhaps I'm, I'm an advocate for the holistic value we get from being outdoors. And if people want to put a clock and go faster, that's, that's awesome. More power to them. And, and again, it, it comes down to if you're not harming other humans and you're, you know, just go out and have fun.